Tarot family, this is Chris Blue Nola Tarot coming to you with another reading. All right, so we, we've we literally had a few days to process the fact that Kevin Samuels is no longer with us, right? And everyone is completely divided, right? And I understand it and I get it and I see why and I understand why. So that's not what I'm here for today. I'm here for what's going on, what was going on with his health. Did he have a pre-existing health condition that caused the situation, right? Did this woman who was with him, did she truly have a hand? Because in the beginning, you're like, okay, you don't know him, but you went with him. You claim you're a nurse. And it's just so many questions where you, you start getting conspiracy theories in your head. But I've taken a day to really calm down, right, <laughs> from having all of these conspiracy theories and really praying and meditating on it. So I want to do a reading to see, like, did this woman have a hand in his situation? Okay. Let's start with the health check. Um, I'm not a doctor again. I do not diagnose, but we're going to pull some cards on his health condition. Spirit, give me the energy, please, around Kevin Samuels, YouTuber, social media influencer, um, style coach, um, part of the manosphere. Um, relationship guru. Um, there's so many things I could say, but give me the energy around his pre-existing health condition. Wow. Mm. Give me the energy around his health condition. And we're going to just kind of let those fall. So he has the Hierophant for help, health. He has the Five of Pentacles. He has the High Priestess for health. The Knight of Cups for health. We're going to just pull a few. A few more. And again, this is for the um, this is for Kevin Samuels. And we're going to pull the last one. Okay. His first card is the Hierophant. And that Hierophant is in reverse. Usually, for my people that's learning tarot, they're usually in a positive upright position. The Hierophant usually represents, shows good health condition. He was actually in reverse for this car. So his first car up, without even having to speak about the other cars, is showing that his health was not good. All right. So it is it's showing us that there may have been a pre-existing health condition. All right. Something that he was, uh, it feels like something that he was struggling with. Um, a lot of times with men, they don't go to the doctor. So you see this man on the crutches um, getting the, the help that he needs being led. He's in reverse for that. So he may have been feeling some situation with himself and not necessarily taking the, the opportunity to get a full checkup and to check on it. Let me say this. Whenever you have any conditions, make sure you check on it. Look how quickly things can change, right? That five of pentacles in reverse is talking about something where if he had gone to the doctor and had been getting a checkup, this is something that he could have recovered from. This is something he could have improved from. Um, however, this is something that he he just kind of like ignored. So there's some energy here. Remember, he had the three of pentacles in his last reading, which is telling us that he had like some, there was something that definitely was affecting his heart. He has the high priestess for health here. And then he also has the knight of cups and the ace of cups. And when you see all of that, that talks, this, this also is representative of something that could have been um, created a block. He could have had some type of blockage, right? Um, also, too, um, that uh, gives me the energy of somebody who could have had like a stroke or um, somebody who could have had black, high blood pressure and then it just something went. That Knight of Cups is him as well and his energy, right? And that Knight of Cups, again, that talks about uh, to me in health. That just represents, again, he didn't have control over it or he was it was he wasn't connecting the dots with it. So I definitely feel like he had been feeling a little poor. He had been feeling poorly for a period of time. Actually, it feels like he could have been struggling for at least one to four weeks um, and he wasn't actually addressing it. OK, um, that um, high priestess here is in his energy and a high priestess can also indicate a hidden disease. Um, so um I do my health check this way. I break it down. It talks about a hidden disease. So it's something that could have been eventually nagging at him again, that he was just pushing away. Um, he could have went to the doctor and then never went back because it, it this does show like looking into it. 
So I'm not going to say he never went to the doctor. I'm just going to say he didn't stay on top of his health the way that he should have, right? So he shows in his energy, guys, that he had a pre-existing health condition that and it considered itself a hidden disease. For people who don't take their medication, they don't take their high blood pressure medication, he had a hidden disease going on here, okay? And again, I think it's something that started kind of nagging at him and he was kind of brushing it and brushing it. He could have went to the doctor maybe one time possibly or at least urgent care. But I'm just saying that to say there's a pre-existing health condition there um, with him in his cards. Um, let's put, do a, a one more pull around his health spirit. Give me the energy around Kevin Samuels and his health. Give me the energy again around Kevin Samuels and his health leading up to this situation. His health. He has the sun card. This is like, this is a man who felt like, you know, relatively active, you know, moving around, right? Meeting and greeting people, doing a lot of good stuff, living a very carefree, jovial life. But I think that he was overworked and overwhelmed. This is what it also shows in his energy as well. You know, you have to be able to take breaks and not put too much pressure on yourself. Listen, I don't even have, but what I have almost 24,000. Thank you guys. Listen, that's stressful. He felt restricted at times. He has the um, eight of swords in his energy. And that talks about restriction, feeling trapped. Like this is like saying I'm running all over the world. I'm having all of this fun. And sometimes I'm not, I'm sacrificing my sleep. I'm sacrificing my, you know, it's certain things that he's sacrificing in order to live this lavish life. People were saying that he's completely broke. I don't believe that, you know. I don't, and even if there's some money challenges, he will get buried. There's some energy around money being provided for, but he's the king of pentacles in this energy. So I, I know that they said that they tried to make a GoFundMe. His mother said that wasn't needed or nor required, but he is the king of pentacles in his energy. Kevin Samuels made a hell of a lot of money. Now I know it's not about what you have, it's about what you do with it, but he shows in his energy is having money to take care of what he needs to take care of. And remember in the first reading, he had two cards of inheritance. Now that inheritance doesn't always have to be giving money. That inheritance could be, I'm giving my property something that is of value. So when you get an inheritance, you can inherit a house, you can inherit cars, you can inherit money, you can, you know, you can, um, you know, you can inherit various things, but he had inheritance energy here. And so what that says is that some of that money will go to his child, um, and to his mother, et cetera, et cetera. But I think he's going to be okay financially in terms of what he's got. When when it's all said and done, he'll have a proper burial. Let me say this. Too many people are supporting Kevin Samuels for him not to. He is the godfather to people, whether people like it or not. So that means people are probably going to donate to his GoFundMe. Uh, his, um, not GoFundMe, I'm sorry. His Cash App, his PayPal. Be reaching out to his mother. What do you need? They're going to have him in the best of the best of the best. So even if he does come up short, which I don't feel he will, do rest assured, he will go out in style, Kevin Samuels. You could best believe that. Okay, so that's it. Let's go ahead to the next question. Um, I want to know, the, the first question is, does he pick up random people on a regular basis? Like this woman was a random I remember the last situation where somebody was in bed. That felt random. Give me the energy around Kevin Samuels. Does he pick up randoms on a normal normal base of random relationship connections? Does he pick that up on a normal basis? And he has the fool card in his energy. And when you see that fool card, that's a person who can make those types of decisions, right? The full card in reverse. And for my people that saw my second channel, y'all already know we talked about this. This is a person who can make some reckless decision or a, 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 and that a single man in the world, that's not reckless to them. I, if I, I go out, I'm looking for a conquest, right? I'm looking for a conquest. I'm on a search. I'm on a hunt. That's a single man that does that. They do that. Now they got, <laughs> They got goddamn married men doing that. Men in relationships doing that. Women in relationships doing that. So it does show his energy that 
he did look, he did go out and have interactions where he, he brought people back. He connected with them, etc., etc. That's what people that he didn't even know, right? The people that he didn't even know, even in that seven of pentacles energy, like, like this relationship is not, so he doesn't feel like he knew this woman, but we're going to pull directly on her a lot. Cause I was even saying, well, why is he arguing with her? He has a fussful energy, right? He has a fussful demeanor. So that's his energy. And that seven of pentacles that talks about a person who's kind of fussful, right? So, you know, a melancholy type personality, somebody could get distracted, annoyed with people walking around, you know, like you ever met, you ever been by somebody's house and they don't have kids and, they, you know, and you bring their kids and, like, and they don't want you to, <laughs> like that. But it almost felt familiar because I was thinking to myself, there are times when I'm about to record, if my husband's coming through, I'd be like, hello, excuse me, I'm about to record. What are you doing? So it felt familiar. But let's ask a question. Give me the energy around the woman. Does she know him beyond just that night? This, this, What is the woman's name? The woman that was with uh, Kevin Samuels, does she know him? She has no commitments to him, y'all. She has no commitments to him. It's showing in her page of pentacles energy. Does she actually know him? King of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Magician, and then the Six of Cups. Mm, I don't feel like they had a commitment in their relationship. This is not somebody he was dating on a regular basis. Definitely somebody that he felt was attractive. Um, his Ten of Swords is also here. In this energy, passing, passing connection, passing connection. Um, they do have the musician and the six of cups together, right? And that just tells me he could have seen her before or she seen her in an area. Uh, so she doesn't not totally not know Kevin Samuels. Um, but I don't feel like they had like a connection, connection like that. That's what it talks about right she's feeling embarrassed she's feeling overwhelmed she's feeling you know she's there's a lot of stuff going on she's like she's cringing that she got herself caught into this situation the emperor in reverse right um that's what it looks like um let's ask this question directly did this woman because they have she has the justice card and she has the magician does she really does she did she have anything to do with his demise Cause she sounded like she was trying to help him on that video, but did she have anything to do with his demise? This woman, and again, his emperor card is coming out. That's his health, guys. Remember, the emperor in the upright position is strong, good health. All right, this one in reverse. If you were doing tarot, just the, the definition way stomach stress, liver problems, um, that's what that would represent, right? So Give me the energy around him. What did she have a hand in his demise? Did she do anything to him? Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Lover's Card, and she was. I don't believe she didn't sleep with him, and I do believe they could have taken. He could have taken something because there's something that's being provided into the mouth. So I do believe they took something, and she's saying she didn't. She wasn't with him. Why would you? go with a man that you never met before go to his house all night and never do anything with him they have the lover's card together so there's a connection energy here all right um and then that king of swords is here as well that's him um i feel like he had an unpredictable moment i don't feel like this lady has something to do with him um now that i'm pulling on the energy i've kind of cleansed myself and i definitely feel like he already had a health condition he ingested something that caused a conflict and it was inevitable. He was already having challenges. They had sex and that King of Swords, they had an intimate connection. And then that King of Swords represents him having that moment. All right. So I do not believe that she was innocent of this. Also, the lover's card is here for health, for, uh, for the situation. All right. Um, you know, the lover's card is also an uncertain diagnosis in, in terms of health. Um, and then this is, remember I said he could have 
went to a doctor really did, and then doubted the, the diagnosis this is a card of doubt of diagnoses so he has some health conditions y'all i don't feel like this lady went and did anything if anything i could see them like probably taking something that's something give me the energy what was he ingesting because he does have the card of ingestion what was he ingesting in his system give me the energy around kevin samuels what was he ingesting give me the energy around kevin samuels what was he ingesting Something that he was drinking. Remember when they said something about the Red Bull too? The Red Bull is here, right? That was not good for his health and he was addicted to them. This is what it shows. Constantly drinking them even when he knew he shouldn't have been drinking them. That's what it's showing in his energy. Um, I think it's something that he took and she didn't take. She has the Empress in good health. So I don't feel like he she took it. I feel like he took it. Um, that's what it talks about. And it affected him. That Nine of Swords is her. She was like, oh my God. <laughs> this is her in the cards like she was at that nine of swords she was like oh my god she doesn't like being let me say this too especially with that six of wands these two six it was it's a nine and a six but with that six of um that nine of swords and that um six of wands i still don't feel she's telling the truth about everything because she they have the seven of swords the nine of swords she's not telling the truth about this the connection of their relationship and maybe because she wants to stay out of it but she doesn't feel like she did him anything his health card is coming back again but she's not telling the whole truth all right she's not telling everything also too i'm gonna take back dependency i'm gonna say that they both were taking something because she has a dependency card there and i'm not saying it was doing you know anything crazy but i'm gonna both say i'm gonna say both of them was doing something girl well how would this um Last but not least, let's do a spiritual reading. Um, let's do this part, not not a spiritual reading, but let's do this. <laughs> I want to know, did anyone do spirit? Let me say this before I even start. Kevin Samuels was not well liked in the spiritual community. Let me say that, okay? Because of his his delivery, the things that he said, a lot of spiritualists. Did not it, it did not accept take or take kind take to his delivery. I would not be surprised to 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 deal these cards and see that being um, something that people would do. Um, we're gonna do it just to see, but just know I'm not surprised if I see this in the cards because I feel it. But I'm not surprised. You have to be careful in life. Because even though you feel you're doing the right thing, you're saying the right message, they have people that take issue with it. They have people that will put spell work on you for little to no little or nothing, right? And when you're sitting here saying, don't believe kids because kids lie about molestation, people take offense to stuff like that. Those are just examples. There were some things that he did say, take care of yourself, you know, raise your expectations. That's positive. But when you say things like he doesn't believe that women get abused, that's negative. So there are some things that's negative, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to ask that question just to kind of get it out the way. Was there any spell work at all being done on Kevin Samuels? Kevin Samuels of YouTube. Confirm the energy. I saw it a few times as I was dealing, but let's ask this straight out. Empress energy comes through first. Was there any spiritual work done on Kevin Samuels? Confirm the energy. Was there any spell work done on Kevin Samuels? Confirm the energy. Was there any spell work done on Kevin Samuels? He does have um, the hangman. The hangman could talk about somebody who's doing a deep dive on him. So he does show it here. It's a female and it could be multiple people doing it, right? That's what it talks about. Um, a lot of it's to affect his his progress, right? Uh, or his, because he is a page of pentacles and the four pentacles. That's like almost affecting your business, affecting your channel, you know, affecting that type of energy. Not so much his health. His health card was in the positive for that give me the energy confirm was there spell work done on kevin samuels he has the ten of swords the two of cups 
and a queen of cups i said that one before and so two of cups as y'all know is you know counselor healer and then a queen of cups is also healer counselor psychic and he has a ten of swords which means somebody could have done something to end his success so i told y'all before i dealt this i i can easily see that happening right people do spell work every day to block people to stop people to bring people down um to lift people up um so i'm not I, and i ain't got nobody who i'm not naming nobody and i don't know nobody but it is in his cards okay and to affect him um and if you if his health was affected but if you look at this ten of swords that ten of swords is actually getting him to collapse creating sorrow and grief so his health condition mixed with that could have been the catalyst for his death. Um, so it could be two things at the same time. Did that woman um, who was with Kevin Samuels, did she do any spiritual work on him? Give me the energy around her. Did she do any spiritual work on Kevin Samuels? Give me one card. She has the death card here. She has the hermit here. She has the Ten of Wands here. <laughs> Let me say this. I think that this woman, the Death card is Counselor. The Hermit is in the energy. The, healer, the Hermit is Healer. That Ten of Wands is in the reverse energy as well, right? Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was geared towards him because there's a conflict energy here, that Five of Wands. That talks about there's a conflict here. There's a, that like, even if she were into spiritual work because of her background, her culture, or spiritualism, or spiritualist, she doesn't show effect in his health. His health with her, as far as her being a heal or being involved in, you know, just a spiritual connection. And I'm not saying she does spiritual work. I'm saying, like, what if she went to a healer? What if she went to a psychic? What if she went to a counselor? A lot of people do. But her, her cards for that is in a positive. She has the emperor and the hierophant. That means she didn't affect his health in a negative way. Even if she were someone, even if she is someone who dibble dabbles, she didn't go in to affect him. That is a conflict. This is what spirit is saying. So this is why you have to really know how to really kind of lay it all out. Um, because every, I know a lot of people who touch spiritual. They do astrology, cardiology. They do pendulum work. That doesn't mean they're doing it on everybody. It feels really like a random person. Um, that he met but um, once you get to her second hand it's telling us that's a conflict there there's a conflict with that that and there's and she didn't affect him he's when it comes to her health she didn't do any root work or spell work or anything to affect his health he shows positive remember these are both now positive when asking that question about her so I can see in her her spell work energy is past energy into the present but this is somebody who would go to a counselor because the death card is her going to a counselor the hermit card is a counselor again so going to a healer so not necessarily doing the work herself so i feel like more of the work if done was done by other people right let me say this i have a spell that i do to 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 block people stop people it's called uh break uh, it's called back off bitch i've done that spell myself people that i've had issues with i never even talked to them again i have people that have tried it they've seen super six ma major success with it so people can do certain things to stop people block people i have an actual book that's here that um, about a hundred spells um so people really do it guys um they do freezer spells i mean it's the it's a it's a huge book a huge list of things you can do um people do spells to for also too for abundance and prosperity and to um see themselves get ahead i do um i have spells on um how to get you know chanting on a new job or um you know there's so many things that you can do also from a positive perspective so this is just a quick reading just to kind of see what's the energy around the situation i was so worked up and, and got conspiracy in my mind I was like, you know what, let me take a step back and make sure that I'm not kind of feeding into all of that. Um, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, 
Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to throw your comments. That's what I want to know most importantly. Your feedback uh, and how you feel. And again, I know everybody's divided. But let's just go ahead and just give um, give your feedback on this topic and this situation. Um, all right. He has some pre-existing health conditions. And I'm sure if they were to do some type of autopsy along with maybe something he ingested, they'll say that. All right. Um, God bless him, his his um, his mother and his family, because at the end of the day, they didn't do us anything. So, you know, God bless his mom, his family and everybody that, you know, is being affected by his loss. Um, you know. All right. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. Bye bye.